Good afternoon. We are now live at IGX 2017. The cutting finals are finishing up right now, and the crowds are starting to come over for the other finals of IGX 2017. While we're waiting for everybody to come over, we're going to just briefly shout out to our sponsors today. Among our sponsors today, we have the HEMA Alliance, Fallen Rook Publishing, St. Mark's, Spez Historical Fencing, Long Point, HEMA Supplies, and others. My name is Patrick McCaffrey. I'm with the HEMA cast, and I will be your commentator during the uh, finals today. Our finals today will include the Light Dagger Finals, Heavy Dagger Finals, Mixed Weapons, Open Longsword, Beginner's Longsword, Women's Longsword, and the Wisdom Longsword Finals. You can hear in the back room, in the background, all of the applause for our cutting finals. Our cutting finalists are in the next uh, field. And they are performing several feats of uh, long sword cutting. As soon as we get the results of the long sword cutting finals, we will be sure to let you know. To get you ready for our finals, though, each of our finals will include uh, both a, a semi-final match and a finals match, including a match for third and fourth place. All of our finals are going to be between four of our top competitors. Some of our mess, some of our competitions this weekend have been a single pool, and some have been a pool with elims. But all of our fighters have worked really hard to get to this point in this weekend. While the uh, crowds are filtering in, let us look at our uh, VIP sponsors for IGX 2017. Our first sponsor is Purple Heart Armory. Purple Heart Armory is the leading supplier of HEMA equipment, training, weapons, and more since 1999. Purple Heart Armory. Training begins here. Our next VIP sponsor is Sparring Go Gloves. Sparring gloves are the makers of the sparring glove special, the hoof and mittens. Sparring gloves are made for HEMA hand protection.
our next our next sponsor is PBT Historical Fencing. PBT Historical Fencing is a maker of a full line of HEMA equipment. PBT Historical Fencing is your professional HEMA supplier. Combat Con is the world's only convention fueled by real martial artists, stage combatants, stunt professionals, and more. Combat Con is a celebration of martial arts in popular culture. Castile Armory is the highest quality sparring tourney, tournament grade combat weapons made for, designed and made for the SCA, HEMA, and WMA. Make a Castile Armory Federy one of yours today. And our last VIP uh, sponsor, while we finish having our, our fighters and the crowd come around, is HEMA Supplies. HEMA Supplies is the provider of quality imported equipment for the practice of historical European martial arts. We visit HEMA Supplies for your equipment needs. Our fighters are coming over. Everybody's come over from the cutting tournament, which just finished a couple of minutes ago. We will get the results of the cutting tournament shortly. For those of you listening at home, what you can expect today, we are going to see competition first from the light dagger tournament and the heavy dagger tournament. We have divided the dagger tournaments between a lightweight class and a heavyweight class. Then we will have our mixed weapon tournament, followed by women's longsword, the wisdom longsword, and beginner longsword. And our grand finale for the day will be the open longsword tournament. For each of these tournaments, we will have a third and fourth place match first, and then a first and second place match. Good luck to all of the competitors today. They have fought very hard to get to this point on this weekend. We have our dagger judges and the ref in the center of the ring right now. For the dagger competition, we are going to see six, up to six exchanges of dagger combat. The ring in the center, in the center of the ring that you're seeing the judges and the ref in right now is where our dagger competitors are going to be starting from. They're going to be starting uncomfortably close. This is to encourage our dagger competition to be as historically accurate as we can get. It will be the job of our judges today to look at the hits scored upon each fighter. We will have two, fight two judges looking at one fighter at a time. Barrett on this side, in blue, Patrick Breitenbach on that side. 
On deck, light, for Light Dagger champions, in red will be Ryan Sikowski, and in blue will be Harold Vance the third. So this is the third and fourth place? This is third and fourth place. Light Dagger for all. Third and fourth place! As we were hearing, this is the third yeah, and fourth place match. <laughs> it would be helpful if we had some daggers, wouldn't it? <laughs> While they are locating the daggers, a brief uh, overview of the points that can be scored. They have to start with their rear foot touching the white line. And their dagger at their hip. As if it was in their A brief overview of the rules for the dagger tournament. So the dagger tournament, they start inside that inner white circle, uncomfortably close. It'll be beginning momentarily. The points scored will be as follows. A proper stab, which is a stab with intent to the head or torso of the body, will be worth one point. If the competitor controls the arm or weapon of their opponent as they are stabbing, they will be awarded a bonus three points. So the only clear, the only valid targets for this competition are head and torso. Um, a clean strike with, uh, without control, without a grip or uh, suppressing your opponent's ability to uh, attack you back is one point. Uh, with control is four points. A clean throw with dominance is also four points. Ring out with one point. Hopefully we'll focus on the technique. Right, guys? Yeah. Table, are you ready? Ready. Judges, are we ready? Ready. ready. Fighter, are you ready? ready? Fighter, are you ready? Fight! Point. Oh! Oh. After every exchange, the fighters will, after every point is scored, the fighters will stop and the judges will offer the points that they saw. One point red. One point red. Second round. Pass two. Ready, fight! All right, our first attack came up short, did not come. There you go. And now they're in a scuffle. They're looking for a throw with dominance. Oh, Ooh, there's a ring out and a throw. All right. We're going to take a short break. That was a uh, tough tumble for our competitor. It is most important for everybody that uh, we are as safe as possible. So the medical staff is going to take a look at the competitor if he needs it he is going to uh, talk with his coach assess how he's feeling see if he can continue and he will be given time to recover from this fall So since there was no clear in clear winner from that throw and ring out, ready? They're Fight. repeating the pass. Point, point. Oh! All right, a point has been scored. The judges are indicating one point that red. red has scored one point. One point. That was a stab without ready? control of the other person's weapon. Point. Oh. As you can see, some of these exchanges are going to be Off very target quick. Target is the arm, not the torso. Uh, repeating third pass. Repeating third pass. Ready? Fight! <coughs> point ho! Oh. All right, another point exchanged. Now, in addition to the number of passes that. Uh, these fighters will One have. Point red. They are also under a One time point limit. Red. Rotate judges, please. After every three passes, the judges will rotate, so a new, fr a fresh set of eyes will be watching pass. for the points pass that are four. being scored. Pass four. Ready? Fight! Point Point. Oh. Double. No points awarded for that pass. So whenever a uh, five, exchange ready. happens where both competitors... Fight. 
Camberola. As you can see, the uh, dagger competition is a very physical sport. It is uh, very closely related to grappling. So as you can see, there's no uh, time limit for the uh, grappling. Um, there was no scoring action in that pass. We're going to repeat the pass. There is a time limit for the entire round. Have a question? Yes. So the competitor had a question about the scoring Ready? action and for the rules. Fight! Point. Oh! Point. What had happened in the previous exchange was not a scoring action. For this exchange, we are seeing that. We are seeing what the uh, judges are calling. Uh, the judges point for red, red fighter one saw point a point. Red. The judges for blue fighter didn't see any scoring Sorry. actions um, in that exchange. One, uh, our judges can't seem to get, uh, confer, con confirm um, whether or not something happened from blue. Um, <coughs> so I'm going to throw that one out. Uh, it, uh, it was unclean, so no points awarded for that pass. I believe we're on our sixth pass. Last pass. Okay, final pass. Yeah. So there was no points awarded for that no one. No points awarded. Okay. Ready? Fight! Right now, the blue fighter is Point down. Oh! And the only way that he can win is with an attack with control. Though it looks like our red fighter was successful red. in Match stabbing. Red. And we're moving right into the championship match. The heavy dagger bronze match will be next. Charles Stuff will be in red. Scott Riley will be in blue. Our light dagger final championship match is between Harold Vance. Apologize for that. That was my fault. Fight! Point, point, matches. Oh! matches between Harold Vance and Ryan Zukowski. Ryan Zukowski is in red, Harold Vance is in blue. Uh, both fighters struck each other. Uh, no points awarded for that pass. Ready? Right, we have a Fight. double for our first exchange. Our second exchange. Point oh. Oh. Thrust to the neck. One point red. One point so red. Again, a quick note. Ready? You'll Fight. notice that as they start, point. Oh. they have a very specific uh, way that they are supposed to start. They are supposed to not only start within that ring, but they are supposed to start with the dagger at their hip, and the open hand um, is able to do anything it wants uh, except struck. touch no the dagger. No points awarded. Third pass. Third pass. Uh, ready? Fight! Point. Oh! After the match has begun, the competitors are allowed to switch Both from that ice pick grip <laughs> to a saber grip. Uh, no points awarded for that pass. No points awarded. Fourth pass. Rotate judges, please. We are three passes in, and Ready? the score is one to zero. Fight. Point. Oh. <laughs> oh <come on>. Nice <laughs> quick exchange. You're sure. Both <laughs> fighters struck each other again. <laughs> no points awarded for that pass. No points. Fifth pass. Fifth pass. Dagger Ready. fights are a very Fight. dangerous game. 
and it is very difficult to attack your opponent without getting stabbed back. And this is part of the art of a dagger fight. Right. Oh! The exchange. Ready? Has no quality Fight. attack. Point. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> I didn't see it. For our light dagger finalists, the prizes are going to be a pair of Forte daggers. A Purple Heart Meyer reprint no, I and a PBT I head and Stafford throat protection. I called it a double, so we're going to call it a double again just for consistency. Um, uh, six and final pass. And they uh, are no now at their point. final Somebody pass. pass. Ready? Fight! If Ryan is able to fight. score a point. Oh! And the match is gone to Ryan Zukowski. Winner, first place, Ryan Zukowski. The next match will be Heavy Dagger Bronze. Red on this side, Charles Stump. Blue on the other side, Scott Riley. After that, we'll have the Heavy Dagger Champion Bronze. Red will be Eddie Lewis, blue will be Ian Davis. Uh, table already announced by fighters. For third place, third and fourth place, is Heavy Dagger. Uh, judges, did you rotate since the last time? Thank you, thank you. Comfortably close, or feet are inside the white line. We're now beginning our Heavy Dagger competition. Ready! Again, we have separated Fight. our fighters between light and heavy because of the intense physical grappling aspect that Dagger has. Point. Point. Oh! Oh! Only score actions before the hole. All right, each of our fighters does have a coach and the coach is allowed to give the fighters a little bit of <coughs> advice in between matches. Uh, While the judges are delivering. Blue. One point blue. Ready? Fight! Point. Point. Oh! oh. <coughs> Stab each other. No points for that pass. No points. Third pass. No counts of data. Ready? Fight! Point. Oh! Oh! A slightly late hit there. In the heat of the moment, it is very difficult for some of these fighters to hear the hold. And we are, oft we are often told to continue fighting and protecting ourselves through the hold. We're going to repeat that pass. Ready? Fight! Quick stabs of the hand, no points. And they're letting the, the fight continue because they want to see fight. good techniques. Continue fighting! Oh. I understand, okay. Point! Oh! It is the ref's discretion and uh, also his job to call hold in the match. And if he sees something that is obviously not a scoring action, he can choose to have the fight continue 
until a good scoring action has occurred. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever there's a question, there's going to be a uh, conversation between the judges and the ref about how it should be scored. In all of these competitions, each pair of judges will have to agree on a score. But it is ultimately up to our referee. Right, uh, you both struck each other. No points. Alright? No points. Rotate judges, please. Thank you, judges. Ready? Fight! Blue has received blue. a point. He, in that five. flurry of attacks, only one attack actually Ready. hit target Fight. with compression. A change of grip and a change of guards for our betters. No point scored yet. The time limit is running out. Time. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! Time is called before any scoring actions happen. Two points. Uh, uh, match blue. No points for that. And the match goes to blue. Our competitors are fighting very hard. And this is a very, very physically demanding competition. Our dagger heavyweight winners are going Final, to be receiving. First and second place, heavyweight dagger. Gentlemen, grab your weapons. Our first and second place uh, fighters for heavyweight dagger are, will be receiving forte daggers, a pair of forte daggers, a purple heart Meyer reprint, and PBT head and throat protection. You already announced our competitors. Our competitors here in red are Eddie Lewis and in blue Ian Davis. <laughs> Hey, we're ready. Judge is ready. Ready? Fight. 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 Point. Oh! Any note about our prizes? One point red. One point red. Second pass. Ready. Fight. Making sure that the competitors are uncomfortably close to start the competition. Point. Fight. Oh. You both struck each other. No points awarded for that pass. No points. High so, Ready. Fight. The daggers that the competitors are using are specially made oh, by... Oh, 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 ...are specially made by Forte, and they provide daggers every year. They are a custom design made for this tournament, and it makes this tournament format possible. The daggers themselves are designed to compress, indicating a good strike, uh, one point without ring out. injuring ring out. Uh, our competitors. Uh, one point for Red. Red uh, received a judges. point there for the ring out. Ready. It is important for every dagger competitor to make a oh, no! cover oh, oh, oh. while they're attacking. Strike and counter strike by Red. No points awarded. No points. Fifth pass. Okay. 
Our blue fighter wants to get even closer Ready. to our red fighter. Fight! They're tied up, looking for the advantage, and they separate. Good strike there. But with every good strike, there's a counter strike. No points. Final pass. Final pass. Great flurry. That was some impressive reflexes. Ready? Final pass. Fight! <coughs> Point! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Break. And our final pass. One point blue. It's a clean One point, point for blue. blue. Match red. Unfortunately, that is not enough. Purple Art Armory's Maya reprint is just one of the many prizes that Purple Heart has provided for IGX over the years. Purple Art has provided, has been one of the few sponsors from with IGX from year one, and they should be one of the first events. One of the first vendors that events should consider for Hema Gear. You should be here suited up, ready to go. Actually, you will be in red. I guess they're random by not taking And red should be on this side. Oh, we're all of them. We're all of them. We are my four judges. Uh, we're figuring that out. Cool. Right, guys. Cool. What what I guys you guys don't need to Purple Art Armory is the leading supplier of human equipment, training weapons, and more since 1999. As Purple Art Armory says, training begins here. Most of our viewers who are who have been involved in HEMA are already familiar with Purple Heart Armory. Christian and Natasha have been supporters of HEMA for years. So this begins our third and fourth place match of the mixed weapon tournament. So our mixed weapon tournament is going to be between two competitors and they are allowed to use any one-handed or combination of one-handed weapons and defenses that they want to. It looks like our red competitor is using a Scottish broadsword while our blue competitor is using a saber. Now they are allowed to use other weapons if they said so chosen up to the point where they begin the match. Mixed weapons bronze match. In red, Marron Tio Solter. In blue, Ian Crow. Table ready? Table ready. Ready. Fighters ready? Fight. So for this competition, our fighters are going to start at the edge of the ring and approach. Fight. Two points red. Two Similar points to our red. dagger competition, each of our Fight. judges is going to focus on hits scored upon only one of the fighters. Point. For each exchange, we are looking for red. targeting and whether it's a clean exchange. Third pass. Ready? Fight. The head and torso are worth two points each. The arms and legs are worth one point each. Point. Point. And again, just like the, the dagger competition, the judges need to confer with their partner judge and come to a consensus before they render a decision. One point red. One point red. Rotate judges, please. Fourth pass. In the event of a clean exchange, the points that the competitor Ready? scores are doubled. Fight. In an unclean exchange, the difference of points is what is scored. Point pole! Two points red. Two points red. Fifth pass. Ready? 
As we saw there, whenever both competitors hit, the difference of points is what's awarded. When there's no difference of points, no points are awarded. It's our third and fourth place match for the Mixed Weapon Corner. Coming up next will be our first mixed and second place match. Championships. In red on this side, Brian Zukowski. In blue, opposite me, Andre Hayar Sese. As we said, with the Mixed Weapons Combat, the competitors may choose any weapon or set of weapons that they would like to. Here we are seeing a rapier and main gauche, and a rapier and targe. Fighters ready, fight! The mixed weapon competition Very difficult competition to fight because okay. you don't know the style that you're going to be facing. The red fighter is declining to hit against him. Oh, I hit him in the leg. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sticking with our calls. Ready? Fight. So our competitors are allowed to decline points that they have been awarded, even if that gives points to the other fighters. Ultimately, it's up to the fighters themselves if they're willing to accept a point. point. Oh! <laughs> it's all right, I get it. <laughs> it's very difficult with these quick exchanges to be able to tell exactly what's going on. All right. One point blue. One point blue. Rotate judges, please. Fourth pass. Ready? Fight. Point hole. Another quick exchange. The judges are not only looking for Double. targeting, but they are looking Double. for quality. Fifth pass. Ready? Fight. I'm being quiet during some of these exchanges because I am just as interested in what's Double. going on in the matches. Double. You watching at home. We now fight to break the tie. First point that is scored, all right, outside of the double, wins. Ready? So currently it is tied. One to one. They are now in sudden death. <laughs> fight! <laughs> oh! <laughs> One point red, match 
trash. Nice quick exchange. And good sportsmanship from the competitors. Women's Longsword will be next, followed by Wisdom Longsword. Coming up next is the Women's Longsword, followed by Wisdom Longsword. At this moment, I'll take a moment to, again, mention a couple of our sponsors. In addition to some of the sponsors that I've mentioned before, also providing some uh, prizes for our competitors are going to be Black Horse Blades, St. James Armory, and Destroyer Mods, as well as Combat Con. Combat Con is the world's only convention fueled by the real martial artists, stage combatants, stunt professionals, and more. Combat Con, a celebration of martial arts and popular culture. So while our competitors are getting set up, a brief note about all of the longsword competition. All of the longsword competitions will have similar rules to our mixed weapon competition. A hit to the head or torso is going to be worth two points. A hit to the arms or legs are going to be worth one point. A clean exchange will have their points doubled. An unclean exchange will either be just the points awarded or the difference of points in the case of both competitors hitting. A slight difference is that in the case of a single-handed attack, such as the Geisling, or any single-handed attack, the maximum number of points that they can be awarded is one. In the case of Ring Out, they again score one point. In the case of a throw with dominance, it is going to be worth two points. And again, quickly while we're getting set up, our mixed weapon fighters were fighting for a Castile Dusac, a Castile Rapier, an Arms and Armors Scholar, and a Fallen Rook book, Lessons of the Thrust, written by Keith Farrell from the Academy of Historical Arts. Castile Armory regularly provides prizes every year, and they are preventing high-quality steel weapons, including feathers, dusacks, and rapiers. <coughs> Our competitors are ready. Ready. Judges are ready. Ready. Fighters ready. Hey. And they begun. Oh. A nice exchange there. Pass. The red photo received Ready's one ready. point. It was not doubled because it was unclear hey. if it was a clean exchange. Point. Oh! Hey, hey! <laughs> Two points red. Two points red. Third pass. Red is ready. A grapple. <laughs> For those of you watching at home, in a grapple, our fighters are allowed to discard their weapon in order to get a takedown. In this particular case, there was no takedown successful. All right, we're going to redo the pass. Yeah, yeah. Redoing the pass. Third pass. 
repeating the pass. The red fighter did not receive points because the back of the competitor is not a valid target. Judges are conferring, and there's a question about the rules. <coughs> the ref is making sure he's making as fair a call as he can. One point red. One point red. Rotate judges, whoa, please. Whoa, whoa. My apologies. Thank you, Andrew. One point blue. One point blue. Thank you. Rotate judges, please. Fourth pass. Sometimes it's a little confusing watching a fighter wearing a red jacket who's the blue fighter. Conversation between the judges. They need to be uh, agreeing with each other before they can make a call. The judges for the red fighter. Two points blue. Are calling that the strike was insufficient under the rule set. Point. Oh. That single point was doubled for final a clean pass. exchange. Time. They are now in the final exchange. 40 seconds, final pass. With 40 seconds Scores remaining. Five, three. Fighters ready. Fight! Red Fighter needs two points in order to bring it to a sudden death. Four points right. oh. to win it. For the finals of the women's, women's long sword. sword champion, on this side of the ring in red, Eva Arneson. On the other side of the ring in blue, Charlotte Morgan. <laughs> IGX 2017 Great is brought to you in part by PBT Historical Fencing. PBT is the maker of a full line of HEMA equipment. PBT Historical Fencing is your professional HEMA supplier. It is also brought to you by. HEMA Supplies. HEMA Supplies is the provider of quality imported equipment for the practice of historical European martial arts. Visit HEMA Supplies for your equipment needs. Table ready. Ready. Judges ready. Ready. Fighters ready. Fight! Repeating that pass for nothing being done. Oh. Our women's finalists are competing for a gift certificate from St. James, a gift certificate from Destroyer Mods, Two and Purple Heart, oh. Nylon Sickle. Second pass. Right is ready. Okay, 
Let's cancel out. No points. Third pass. Ready's ready. Hey! Change with no fourth points pass. as they answer their fourth pass. If you are just joining us, we are at IGX 2017 in the Women's Longsword Finals. This is for first and second place. Point. Oh! Another great exchange between these two tough competitors. One point blue. One point blue. Final ready. pass. Hey! And they answer their final pass. Blue has three <coughs> points. He needs to get at least one point to bring this. Red. Oh! And they exchange. If red gets one point, they will go into a sudden death final. One point blue. And they do. One point blue. They do pass. not. The uh, Send a match. Four, blue fighter <laughs> wins four to two. Next up is going to be the Wisdom Longsword Finals. Wisdom Longsword, third place match. In red, Christopher Pelagi. In blue, Don Kinsfather. On deck, the Wisdom Longsword Championships. In red will be John O'Connor, and in blue will be Sean McCoy. Beginning Longsword will follow. The Wisdom Longsword. The Wisdom Longsword is a special division at IGX. It is exclusively for those competitors that are of a certain age and above. All of our Wisdom Longsword competitors are the age 50 or older. Just goes to show you that you Table can continue ready. fighting ready. Judge is ready. well Judge into your ready. golden years. Fighters ready. Gets four points. Hey. Point. Oh. Two points blue. Hey, strikes with hand. Blue. Third pass. Awards our blue fighter. Two points. Hey. Quick question between the judges as to quality of the strike. While they discuss, IGX 2017 is brought to you in part by Purple Heart Armory. Purple Heart Armory is the leading supplier of HEMA equipment, training weapons, and more since 1999. Purple Heart Armory has also been a uh, sponsor of IGX since the first year that IGX, IGX was put on. Purple Heart Armory, training begins here.
consensus is that they are going to redo the pass. Nothing happened. Fence is ready. Fence! Quick exchange and a double. Doubles. Rotate judges, please. Pass four. <coughs> judges ready. Judges ready. Quick conference between <coughs> the judges. Two points red. Two points red. And red is awarded two points. Ready. Quick exchange, and it looks like the blue fighter one point blue. is one receiving point one blue. point. Final pass. Final pass. Time, please. 23 seconds. 23 seconds? Thank you. The score is 7 2. Fighters ready. Fight! Quick strike to the hands. <coughs> Two points red. Two points red. Seven, four, match. Awards the red fighter. Two points, but it's not enough. Our blue fighter has won third place. For the Winston Longsword Championship. In red, on this side, John O'Connor. In blue, opposite me, Sean McCoy. The next match will be Beginner's Longsword where Eva Arneson will be in red and George Tarnowski will be in blue. IGX 2017 is brought to you by Sparring Gloves. Sparring Gloves is the maker of the Sparring Gloves Special, the hoof and mittens. Sparring Gloves are made for HEMA hand ready. protection. Judges ready. Ready? Ready. Fighters ready. Yeah. Fight! Quick exchange, gives. Blue. Ready. blue the lead for the first exchange. Bunch of back and forth exchanges there. Each competitor catching the uh, other strikes Three on their cross out. guards, <coughs> ending points. in a double. Third pass. Fighters ready. Hey. Oh! Three. Nice cuts of the hands there. One point blue. One Give point blue. blue fighter one point. Right ready. Judges, please. Fourth pass. Judges rotate for the fourth pass. Once again, our wisdom fighters. Judges ready. Ready. Fighters ready. Hey. Our fighters above the age of 50, and they are continuing to fight at a high level. Oh! Four points blue. Four points blue. Fifth pass. As I go into the ready. fifth pass, Fight. blue fighter has six points. Right. Oh. 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 O
It's one point for that as they go into the final. 34 seconds. As they go into the third, third ready. sixth, Fight. and final pass with 34 seconds. And as they finish up their final pass, our wisdom fighters are fighting for gift certificates from St. James Armory and a gift certificate from Black Horse Ray. And the end, our blue fighters victorious. A great showing from our wisdom league fighters. IGX 2017 yeah. is brought to you in part. Beginner's Love Sword Bronze Match will have Eva Aronson, sorry, Arneson in red on this side, George Tarnowski in blue opposite me. The Beginner's Love Sword Final on deck, Cameron O'Connor will be in red, Matthew Coyle will be in blue. IGX 2017 is brought to you in part. We are by Castile Armory. Castile Armory is the maker of swords and faders. Sam designs their swords based on historical designs, and Castile Armory is the highest quality sparring and tournament grade combat weapons designed for the SCA, HEMA, and WMA. And the open longsword finals, each participant may appeal up to two decisions. The recording will be reviewed by the judges, and a call will be made. So for this, this match is our beginner's longsword final. Our beginner's longsword finalists have competed in teams of five during the beginner's longsword pool, or sorry, the, be the basic longsword pool. And from there they have come to this point. IGX 2017 is also brought to you by Combat Con. Combat Con is the world's only convention fueled by real martial artists, stage combatants, stunt professionals, and more. Combat Con, a celebration of martial arts pop popular culture. Something special for IGX 2017 that we piloted last year at, 26, at IGX 2016 for the basic and open steel competitions. Each fighter will be able to challenge Stay up ready. to two ready. calls. Judges ready. Ready. Fighters ready. ready. Fight. This means that if the fighters disagree with a particular call, they felt that they hit or did not hit, that they can look at a Look at the footage provided by oh! the cameras around the ring. And challenge what happened. One point red. One point red. Second pass. Ready. Ready. Hey! A flurry of blooms there. Two points blue. Two points blue. Blue fighter gets two points. Three, Red fighter had an insufficient Wait. attack. Two fighters run at each other. Quick exchange. 
Nothing done. Oh! Exchange. Huh? One point red. One point Blue fighters red. attack was rotate. flat. Red fighter got a point this and they rotate. Pass, right? I there was an Aaron that scored on the first pass of this. This is his one finger. Judges. Blue is calling for a review on pass four. A challenge has been made, and they are now reviewing the footage for the fourth pass. While they are reviewing the footage, some of the other sponsors for IGX 2017 include the Hema Alliance, Rekindle of Tradition, <coughs> Fallen Orc Publishing, Long Point, and Albion Swords. Many of the event sponsors that you're hearing are very common names in the human community. They are some of these sponsors. After the play, <laughs> the challenge changes nothing. Right, ready. After Report reviewing, the, there, please. the uh, status quo remains unchanged. The call is unchanged. not overshooting. Okay, fifth pass. Small technical ready? delay. Ready. And they get ready for the fifth exchange. Yeah! Two competitors move in. Turned and the ref is talking to the blue fighter. The judges are discussing, discussing their decision. And IGX 2017 is also brought to you by St. Mark's, Destroyer Mods, and St. James Armory. They are repeating the pass. There was a lot of things that happened there, but there was nothing clearly scoring a point. Scores four points. A clean exchange as they enter their final pass. Time, please. 26 seconds. 26 seconds. Scores six to three. Final pass. Fighters ready. Fight. Fight smart. Point. Oh. Me. One scans left. Six three five. Red. And the red fighter wins. Our basic longsword competitors are fighting for St. Mark's Coning Gloves. This is final for beginner's longsword. In red, Cameron O'Connor. On this side. In blue, Matthew Coyle. Opposite me. <laughs> if you're in the open longsword, please make ready. The first bout will be red, Laurent Ciel-Santerre, and blue, Edouard Newell. 
Our basic longsword competitors are fighting for St. Mark's Coning Gloves, Sparring Gloves, Gloves, and Destroyer Mods ready. Gift Certificate. Judges ready. Fighters ready. Fight! Woo! And a beginner longsword final has begun. A quick safety hold. We want to make sure that the competitors are as safe as possible as they fight. Very quick and powerful exchange there. Choose double F. Double the score. Third pass. Fighters ready. Fight! As they go into the third pass, fighters approach. Fighter gets up judges, please. Fourth pass. And they begin their fourth pass. Judges ready. Fighters ready. Good exchange there. Good defense from both fighters. Nice. Four points, blue. Woo! Four points, blue. Matt, you got this. Fifth pass. Fighters ready. Hey! Matt, you got this. Go Cam. And they come to their final pass. Time, 33 seconds. 33, 33 seconds. seconds. Scores one, four. Final pass. Fighters ready. If the red fighter gets a clean exchange, he can win this. Good at that. This is what you're good at. So if you're listening to my commentary, you'll hear me stop talking on occasion so that you can hear what the refs and table staff are calling out for everybody to hear. The final two matches will be open longsword. Again, video appeal may be used by participants. The first of these matches for third place. In red, Laurent Pille Sauter. In blue, Abelard Newell. On deck for the championship. In red, Matisse Kuhl. In blue, Eddie Lewis. As we get ready for our open steel finals, another. Uh, Sponsor of IGX 2017 is Firebrand Productions. Firebrand Productions is out of Providence, Rhode Island, and is maker of daggers and knives and offers a knife class. And they have sponsored a dagger prize. Table ready. Ready. Judge is ready. 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 Fight is ready. Oh! 
Quick exchange. It looks to be. Uh, slight discussion as to the points there. Our open and our advanced longsword finalists are fighting for a Castile Fetter. Spez, head Point's protection. Red, ready. red fighter got two points there. The other prizes for our open longsword finalists are Spez Head Protection, a PBT gift certificate, as well as Point a spread. Combat Con Point Pass spread. and a Long Point Pass. We go into our third pass. Score is 4 to 0 for our Red Fighter. A quick question for the tip of our blue competitor's weapon. But it is spatulated enough that it does not need to be tipped further. Every one of these exchanges is being uh, video recorded in real time by two, vi two cameras on either edge. If the competitors want to challenge either any of these calls, they are allowed to make a challenge. Double, no score. Fifth pass. Ready's ready. They go into their fifth pass. pass. Quick hit to the hand by our red fighter. Two points red. Two points, red. Two points. Final pass. And as we go into their final pass. 26 seconds, final pass. With 26 one. seconds. Ready. Red fighter has six points. Blue fighter has one. A great exchange by blue. Luke got a good hit and a defense. All right, technically nothing done. Therefore, repeat pass. Repeat pass. Final pass. But they are repeating yeah. the pass as nothing is done. There is a challenge that nothing happened. They are going to look at the videos and see if anything happened. They're going to see if there was a good edge alignment, if there was quality hit quality to the hit struck, and if he got struck back. While they are reviewing, once again our open longsword competitors are fighting for a Castile Fetter. Castile Armories is, maker, is the maker of a highest quality sparring and tournament grade combat gear, weapons designed for the SCA, HEMA, and WMA. They're also fighting for Spez head protection. Spez historical fencing is again a maker of a lot of the HEMA gear that you see at tournaments. They're fighting for a PBT gift certificate. PBT Historical Fencing is a maker of a full line of HEMA equipment. PBT Historical Fencing is your professional HEMA supplier. They are also fighting for a combat con pass and a long point pass.
IGX 2017 is brought to you in part by Purple Heart Armory. Purple Heart Armory has been the uh, the sponsor of IGX since year one. It looks like a decision has been made. No pass. Pass will be refought. Pass six. Final pass. Final pass again. And they're repeating pass six. And for their final pass, it looks like the blue fighter has scored at least one point. There, the red fighter's judges are deciding if there's quality to the strike as well as targeting. And they are conferring with the ref to get a third opinion. Looks like the conference is over. One point blue. One point blue. Blue fighter gets one Match, point. Six two red. Woo! The red fighter is victorious and gets third place at IGX 2017 Open Longsword. And while they are getting set up for the finals, the final matchup today will be the Open Longsword Championship. <laughs> In red, Matisse Poe. In blue, Eddie Lewis. And our finals are between Matisse Cool and Eddie Lewis. Matisse Cool in red, Eddie Lewis in blue. They have fought long and hard and trained for who knows how long to get to this point. And in the move. These are both high level and athletic competitors. Quick strike. Two points red. Clean strike. Two points red. Second pass. Tease gets two points right off the bat. The second pass begins. They move in. Point is called. Judges are trying to get it out of the competitor's way. Okay. One point, blue. And Eddie one Lewis gets blue. one point. Third pass. Fighters ready. Put. You're on to the third pass. Flurry of blows. And one, one good strike in the middle there. Yielding T's cool. Points red. Two points. Two points red. Oh. Right. Eddie Lewis is challenged. And they're looking and reviewing to see if he got hit at all. While they are reviewing the footage, Sparring Gloves is one of the uh, sponsors of IGX 2017. Sparring Gloves is the maker of the Sparring Gloves Special, the hoof and mittens. Sparring Gloves are made for HEMA hand protection. 
IGX is also brought to you by PBT Historical Fencing. PBT is the maker of a full line of HEMA equipment. And PBT Historical Fencing is your professional HEMA supplier. It's also brought to you by Castile Armory. Castile Armory has provided a Castile fetter that these competitors are fighting for. Sam designs their swords based on historical designs and provide the highest quality sparring and tournament grade gear and combat weapons designed for HEMA and the WMA. And another prize that our fighters are fighting for is a pass to Combat Con. Combat Con is the world's only convention fueled by real martial artists, stage combatants, stunt professionals, and more. Combat Con happens in Las Vegas, and it is a celebration of martial arts in popular culture. And while we're continuing to look, IGX 2017 is brought to you by HEMA Supplies. HEMA Supplies is the provider of quality imported equipment for the practice of historical European martial arts. Visit HEMA Supplies for your equipment needs. While they're finishing reviewing this, some of our other sponsors include the HEMA Alliance. The HEMA Alliance is rekindling the tradition. St. Mark's, maker of the Conan Glove. Spez Historical Fencing, another line of HEMA gear. Longpoint. Longpoint is the premier HEMA event. We will not be seeing Longpoint 2018, but we will be seeing them in spring of 2019. It looks like the conference is over. Jeff Lord, our ref, is letting Eddie Lewis know his division decision. So after review, they do not so feel that there was enough quality. One. Nothing is done, so we replay that pass. Replaying and they are the repeating pass. that pass. Right, he's ready. Fight! And a great takedown by Tease Cool. Tease did lose his weapon in the middle of that grapple, but. <laughs> losing the weapon during the grapple is not a disarm. I mean, disarm is only at the end of the grapple if the competitors can get away with it. Two points, red! Tease Cool gets two points. Full points for a throw. Pass, rotate judges, please. How many? Eight. <laughs> fourth pass. Eight seconds remain. Fighters ready. And these Fight. two fighters are in their fourth and most likely final pass with eight seconds remaining. Oh! Nice. Woo! Wow. And that is a very quick flurry of blows there. Give him two school. Two points red. Match two points. Six one. Two points red. red. And the match goes to Peace Cool. Peace Cool is our open longsword winner of IGX 2017. <laughs> All right, the competition so is working. over. And we are going to. Okay, uh, can I have the, the uh, finalists for cutting? Finalists. George, John, Nathan. Okay. Uh, so there was a tie for first? Woo! Yeah. 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 
program that I explored for uh, the trajectory of the, of the tatami, uh, and that was a very clear distinction, um, uh, the school is our champion. Woo! And these are the results of our cutting Thank you very much. finals. <laughs> that at the beginning of our broadcast, we're just finishing up. All right. And that is it for the live stream of IGX 2017. I'm Patrick McCaffrey with the HemaCast. Have a great night.